okay, now because you're white, we're going to oppress you, or because you're Christian, we're going to oppress you, or because you're heterosexual, we're going to oppress you, or because you're not uh, impoverished, we're going to oppress you. These are all categories of critical theory. And, and so given mm -hmm. our government and, and the freedom that we say we have and that we say we, we cherish, you know, our, our own Declaration of Independence says that all men are created equal. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. given slavery, given racism, other things in our history, we haven't always live up, lived up to those ideals. We don't deny that. Nope. Uh, but I would mm -hmm. say, uh, agreeing with Dr. Land, uh, you know, those ideals paved the way for us to overcome those, those sinful things in our past. And, and as we continue to, to work towards a more, more perfect nation. Uh, so it, it seems, though, that we've overcorrected, maybe. That, that we've gone the other extreme when it comes to this whole idea of equality. So wh where do you think we've, we've gone wrong in our understanding here? Well, one of the places we've gone wrong is the church was for many years on the wrong side of this in the sense that the church in many ways was racist early on, as we all know. Uh, and they even sometimes tried to use the Bible to support that illegitimately, obviously. And so now the pendulum has swung the other way and in, instead of trying to truly fight racism, critical theory, which, as you know, uh, tries to put everybody in one of two groups, either oppressor or oppressed group, and they do that sometimes by race. So peoples of color are oppressed and the oppressor are white people. Now what they're trying to do is actually use racism to try and fight racism, which, of course, is illegitimate. They're trying to say if you're a white person, first of all, you shouldn't be listened to. Number two, you're automatically racist no matter what you say, no matter what you do, you're automatically racist. All you can do is apologize. So we're not even going to listen to you're automatically racist and we are going to discriminate against you. That's discrimination right there in order to try and equalize things when, in fact, it's not equalizing at all. It's ironic, Adam, that the people who say they are fighting oppressing or they're fighting oppression become the oppressors themselves. They try and say that. OK, now, because you're white, we're going to oppress you or because you're Christian, we're going to oppress you or because you're heterosexual, we're going to oppress you or because you're not uh, impoverished, we're going to oppress you. These are all categories of critical theory. And all they do is divide people by these characteristics rather than try and bring people together. So it's not the answer. It may diagnose the problem that there is oppression and there is racism. Critical theory does. But the solution, the, the, the cure is worse than the disease. Mm.